What's up, you guys? It's Shader Gamer back with another video, back with another banger. Look, you guys, hit the subscribe button, join the Shade Team today. If you have not joined the Shade Team yet, then what are you doing? Because on this channel, I cover the latest news for multiverses. And you guys, I gotta say, you know, I'm pretty happy with the patch notes that we had got today, which I will go over the patch notes. But, you know, I wanna go over this first because some people are actually, you know, kind of mad about this, you know, because I. You guys, people are gonna always find a way to get mad at multiverses by all type of things. But multiverses tweeted this out, and we will go over the patch notes. And he said this: "Great news, MVPs! We've made a quick change for our players. Starting now, battle pass XP will be granted after each PVP match, in addition to events, more coming, and missions. The race to Uber Jason continues. So, you guys, so that's a great update. So now, when you play the game, you get battle pass XP. You don't just play the game; you don't get nothing from it. You actually earn something from it." But in the comment section, of course, you got people actually complaining about it. Like this one person said, 10 XP, bro. And so I said, wait, it's only 10 XP? And so I said, look at this. So I said, it was kind of like that in the open beta too, which it was. But of course, you know, people when no matter what you do, people go find a way to get upset. It could have been 20 and go be like, oh, only 20? Same thing. So I said, that's criminal and stuff like that. So I said, at that point, what's the point of adding it? You guys, if you play 10 matches, that's 100 XP. Like, come on, you guys. But you guys, let's go over the patch notes, though. You know, like, let's just go ahead and get into, like, some great news, right? So they said, we wanted to take a moment to thank you all for the helpful feedback on Reddit, Discord, and our other social channels. We're dig diligently <laughs> consuming all of your suggestions and we'll be making a number of changes based on the info we gather following lunch. So this is some of the stuff that they change. Oh, it says general. It says lower hit pause on all hits by 10% in 1v1 mode. So that's a change to 1v1 modes and not 2v2, just 1v1. So that's interesting. It said players can now try all fighters in training mode, including fighters they do not want. And that's good to hear as well. It says battle pass XP will now be granted after each PVP match in addition to events and missions. So that is good. So events and missions, you get the extra XP for it too. So they went ahead and they did some bug fixes. They said they fixed the issue to where players cannot complete daily rewards in Rift mode. Fix the issue to where impacted performance on Xbox Series X and S. It said fix the issue to where uh, visual effects were occasionally visible on PlayStation consoles. Fix an issue where certain keyboard configurations would cause phantom inputs in matches. Fix an issue with pause in, I mean <laughs> pause input conflicts in training. So these are bug fixes that they went ahead and fixed. I know I kind of buy some of the words, but whatever. So some of the characters got buffed and nerfed. So it says Arya Stark dash attack was reduced, which I, I didn't expect for Arya Stark to get a uh, nerf, but okay, I guess it was needed. Banana Guard, yes, Banana Guard did need a nerf. Uh, it says his aerial size special reduced from 10, I mean, reduced to 10 from 12, and ground size special from, I mean, to 12 from 14. So that's good. Bugs Bunny, which by the way, I gotta say, I'm glad they fixed this. I, I'm glad they didn't nerf him, but I'm glad they did fix this because I've I seen people had issue with this. It says, the neutral special fix an issue causing the safe to hit repeatedly and rapidly in succession because it had a thing to where when two people use the safe plan as Bugs Bunny, it caused like an infinite attack with the safe, which was crazy. On um, Garnet down special, fix an issue where Garnet and an enemy could be frozen at the end of her stab grab. So good thing that he went ahead and fixed that. Oh, um, they got Gizmo up special. Ally, yeah, ally attached cooldown now begins when Gizmo detaches from his ally instead of beginning when Gizmo attached to his ally, which I didn't even know there was a problem with Gizmo. I don't really run into that many Gizmos, to be honest. Now, Iron Giant, they look like a lot of nerfs, a lot of nerfs for him, you know. They reduce, <laughs> yeah, they did some reduce, like a knockback, final on hit, on um, knockaway, um, it, it's a lot, you guys, which I think. That, that, that's crazy though like iron giant they, they, they took him out the game because basically he was broken that's all i can say he was just broken that's why you see all these nerfs right here for iron giant so i'm not surprised by that on uh, jake aerial ground up special fixed some issues with game performance that was a problem it says with jason oh yeah i, I heard about this one fix an issue where one player would disappear when jason grabbed two players with the sleeping bag which that would be aggravated because like how you gonna go ahead and deal with them and yes the lebron one man i had to deal with this before he had some idiot wrong oh, just kept spamming the basketball i said lebron basketball basketball can now only hit one time per target that's good because they will hit the 
Yo, throw the basketball and it can hit you like three, four times. Like, ridiculous. Like, my gosh. Um, Marvin, they fixed the issue with film and said Marvin could ring out opponents inst I mean, yeah, instantly due to a size, I mean, size special projectile interaction with neutral attack. Um, even with Rain Dog, it says, um, knockback angle is now more horizontal. Uh, it says, aerial up attack, knockback angle is now more horizontal. So they went ahead and fixed that with Rain Dog. They know he had an issue. Um, wait, so Shaggy look like, um, they actually buffed him? Am I right? That base knockout increased to 1700 from 1300. Knockback scaling increased to 14 from 13. Knockback uh, angle is more horizontal. On hand cancel window delayed by 10 frames. Man, oh, I'm gonna have to run Shaggy. I'm gonna have to run Shaggy. Man, the Shaggy look like he about to be a monster online now. On uh, Steven Universe. So it says sweet spot hit delay one frame later when match when Steven has his hands clapped together. And um, they also nerfed on says on hit cancel window delayed by three frames. Okay, so that's good for Steven Universe. They went ahead, you know, they went ahead and did that and all like that. I didn't know Steven Universe even had a problem with the on, on hit cancel, which that was interesting. Stripe aerial down attack, more downward momentum is maintained in attack startup. Okay, so he got a buff, all right, which actually he probably need a buff because I don't really see too many stripe players online either. Task increased damage on nine cooldown tornado final hit to eight from seven, and then you got Wonder Woman. It says that um, Wonder Woman lasso was a bit too oppressive to play against without any limiter, so we decided to add a short cooldown to the ability. And it says aerial ground neutral special added a eight second cooldown for lasso. So, you guys, and that's the patch notes right there. Um, if your character got, I'm glad they didn't touch Batman. They did not touch Batman. I was happy. Batman remained untouched. So that's great. That's great. If y'all did not know, Batman is my man. So I'm glad about that. But you guys, I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'm happy. They did not touch Batman. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share the video, and also subscribe and join the Shade Team. Join the Shade Team. Thank you guys for watching. Shout out to Shade Team as always. And I'm out.